Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I edited my Rapunzel photo. So first I brought it into Lightroom, and then I just played around with some of the settings, like the vibrancy and the saturation. I also went in and I changed up the sharpening, so I made it a little sharper. I gave it a little more haze, just because it was like a kind of a dark photo. And... Made it a little more luminant. Alright, and that was good. So now I am bringing it into Photoshop. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to edit her to bring out the details, which is just one of the brushes, but it's really just adding contrast. So I want to make her stand out a little more. Alright. And I'm also going to Use the portrait brush that is. Ooh, I did not mean to do that. Or that. Sorry. I'm going to brighten her eyes with the bright eyes tool. I'm also going to make her lips just a little darker so that they stand out a little more. Alright, now I'm going to go onto Google and I'm going to try and find a background image that I can put my. Rapunzel photo on. So, um, this one looks good because there's a clear horizon line and ground, so she'll be clearly standing on the ground. So, I'm just going to place that. So, now I made it a smart layer or whatever, so that way I can erase it. I'm going to lower the opacity so I can see where her outline and everything is, and I'm just going to erase using my eraser tool which I have on 66% opacity because I don't want to go in with a full 100% opacity at first because that's going to make it um, very like blunt around the edges but I want it to have like softer around the edges so that she blends into the background a little more but you can use the 100% tool for like the middle of her body because that part is going to stand out a little more. So now I'm just erasing the middle section of her and take your time on this because you don't want it to be like jagged edges or anything. Sometimes if I'm going too fast it'll be all jagged on the ends. So now I'm going to use my spot heal tool just to try and clean up around the edges in any spaces that maybe got um, too erased. So I'm just going to go in with that. Alright, so now I'm going to be using the clone stamp because obviously Rapunzel has a heck of a lot of hair. So I'm going to be cloning some of the spots where you can see the ends of her hair and stuff. And I'm just going to, well you'll see, I'm just going to, you know, take little bits, clone stamp them down a little bit at a time because there isn't a lot of hair showing and I'm just going to try and make it look as realistic as possible which is going to take a while and I just have it on the original background because it's a lot easier to see than the tangled tower background all right so now I'm going to start cloning while well, using the clone stamp from the top of the head just because it's like a little more hair like looking so I'm going to clone that on top, so that way it gives the part we just cloned a little more texture. And I'm going to take little bits of that and do basically the same thing that I just did. Adding a little bit every time. So just keep going with that. You may want to use the blur tool to kind of blur the rough edges. And once you're satisfied with how your hair extensions look, um, you can go in and erase that part of the background. So put it back so that you can see the tangled background and lower the opacity again just like before and erase with a low opacity eraser. And I'm just swiping that eraser over her one more time to make sure I didn't miss any spots. It looks like I'm good. Now I'm going to look around the edges and I can use that spot healing tool again to see if there's any blemishes that I need to 
fix up a little bit. Now go on to that background layer of the tangled background and you're going to use your burn tool just where she's standing kind of to give that area a bit of a shadow so it looks like she's actually standing there and she is actually part of this picture. And then you can dodge a little bit in front of it or just lighten and darken. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to give the tangled background layer a little bit of a blur. So I went to the lens blur tool. You can just type it in to the search bar, which is what I do, because I know it's in one of the windows somewhere, but I always forget which one. So now this is just going to make the background a little blurrier so that it looks like she's the foreground like how a camera has the background and foreground and it's just gonna make it look a little more realistic all right and now I think I'm going to just brighten up the background a little bit and darken some spots so I'll make it a little darker around the edges almost like a vignette and then I'm going to brighten it a little bit in the center. I'm just going to dodge a little, uh, burn a little more. When you're pleased with how your image looks, you're going to zoom out so you can see the full thing, and then save it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this tutorial on how I do my princess edits. Leave a comment down below if you liked watching this and if you want to see more tutorial videos and I hope you guys have a great day. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye!